Hey everyone, welcome back to Monster Seed, of course, and let's go in here. Um, let's head this way. Yes, it's a mouse, I don't care. Opening the treasure chest. Mine aid, okay. Um, some of you know that I, uh, kind of lost a Bluetooth headset that I've been kind of looking for. Others of you are probably like, well, uh, no, that doesn't even really matter right now because you've got some pretty good production value. Well, I've been using a PlayStation Eye camera to record my audio, and, um, I'm checking now to basically see what I can do, um, and see if my, uh, four-channel audio which I'm just now starting, is uh, going to be fine, or if this headset is going to be better. So, whichever one wins out, I will let you guys know. In, uh, in editing, I will add something right, probably to the left right now. Um, <laughs> and say which one I went with. Um... But yeah, a lot of this is just wandering around empty rooms, so I know, I know I probably could have gotten this last episode, but honestly, it's better waiting for this kind of stuff. And this should be like the bronze key. I get a new seed, bit of drop, no, okay, that was actually a pretty good chest and it didn't actually have uh, what I thought it was going to have. Because this is pretty much the end of the line, as far as I can go. Gaku Rizua, okay. Oh, I'm wrong. Ha, ha, ha. Never mind, Thelly. Thelly is silly. Um, I'm serious, this is pretty much the end of the line, as far as I can go, isn't it? Oh, right, every time you load, the treasure chests come back. Militia Tears. And, uh... None of the battles come back, by the way. So, every time that you come in, it's... It's gonna be kind of different, but it's never gonna be... Different, different. Really? I didn't go that way? Could've swore I did. But, uh, oh, I did. I guess I'm just going after a key now. Um, also, after this fight, I think I'm going to return to, uh, yeah, Cal. And, uh, give her the audio book. And, uh, also, um... You can call as many monsters as you think you need right here, but honestly, there's not really much of a reason to call more than like two uh, two monsters in this fight. And uh, yeah, all in all, this is gonna be fairly easy. Call, um. Charmeleon, why not? Just to have him out. Now I get to stand by and... That's that. And he gets to summon another monster, okay. I should be getting one out. There we go. He's going to be just at attack. Just so you know. And uh, same with uh, my other one. Yeah, I'll move back here and call one more. Um, 
Lapin just because he's here for health. Also, that wasted like five of my uh, things, so I get to stand by once again. And um, I apologize in advance for any sort of, hi, you're a cool design, for any sort of slowdown or anything else. And I know my thing is the bad voice acting, so I apologize for the tut, it's locked if I don't find the key thing. Charmeleon should be moving sometime soon. So you attack the strongest one. I'm actually not sure on that one. You are going to assistance because you are a battling or er, a magic assist type. There is no battling assist. Never give up, never surrender. M always move forward. Packer, huh? That can actually do madness, so. Charmeleon? No, Parasect, okay. You killed it with a physical attack. A battling offensive monster, no less. The harassment type killed with a physical attack. I am actually not sure what to say about that. I mean, I understand that not really killing it because it didn't attack one of the uh, weaknesses, so to speak. But the bug head killing was uh, unexpected. All he can do really is uh, heal HP, so... Yeah. Which I actually don't mind uh, magic assist types. They have their uses and I shouldn't have got uh, shouldn't have got him honestly. Because, yeah, that just, yeah, thank you. You just ruined all of my worth. Okay, uh, forgot that I can actually just hit the L's and R's to, uh, to, to turn, so. Yeah, that's because you healed my enemy more than you healed me. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and turn and use an item. Because tears, like Flowness and Melashed here, do magic damage. And, uh, yeah. He was weak to ice. So the Flowness Tears worked. And uh, this guy coming up isn't going to stand a chance. Because Bughead killed a monster. The fact of the matter is, once these monsters of his disappear, he's dead. He's even moving into range. So I'm just going to stand out of the way. And so after this is done, I'm just going to... Wow. Oh, I hope he gets paralyzed. Nope. And uh, do you have another one in you? You do. 
Einhearth, I hope he gets blinded. I know the magics don't really do too, too much, but honestly, this guy's just really resistant to light, and he is blind. If he had been petrified, that would have been my day right there. My day would have been made. Because that would have been the end of the match. His monsters would have disappeared, he would have disappeared, and death all around, you know? Instead, Charmeleon's just kind of doing his thing, and Parasect is doing his thing, and... Man, I really wish he had been petrified. There we go. And there we go, too. Yes, goodbye, Charmeleon. Rain in this battle was useless. I apologize for slowdown because, well, it happens. Um, I apologize for falling silent because it happens once again. And, uh, yeah. Max is gonna try. No, he's not even gonna try to attack, huh? He's just going to stand there and take it like a man. I respect you, Max. I think I should get, like, the old key for this one. To where I can, uh, rescue the, uh, the guy. Light Minton and another seed. I believe those are the magic, uh, magic assist ones, too. So, I'll be hatching in the next episode. Right now, though, I've got things i got to take care of, so... Um, because I have Oju Book 3, and uh, I think that's part of the story I need to give it to her. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to continue on in the story. Again, I think. This is just from my noggin here. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, yeah, it will be done. I think she gives me some sort of item or some sort of help with the, uh, case. And because I forgot that, uh, some of those actually respawn, apparently not this one. So, uh, yeah, I'll take a look, see which ones I can get back, and... Which ones have been refilled and replaced? And then I'll give the book away and then I'll call this episode because that should be it. Bitter aid and another solution. Hey, I'm not going to complain. But yeah, the next time I'm going to get an actual magic assist type that has some okay kind of buff spells. Because healing can be done better with items in this game, honestly. I'm working on your problem. Pigeons! I didn't scare them all away. Yeah, I did. How did I scare them all away after I had already left the screen? I don't know. Yeah, I don't even want to talk to you guys. Because all they're all about are uh, being, you know, defeating me to protect the young miss.
Cal, I brought you what I promised. What? Is it true? I'd completely given up! It was Volume 3 of Odd You, wasn't it? Yes! Oh, I'm so glad! I'm glad I asked you! I never expected you to find it so quickly. Thank you ever so much! Okay. If there's anything else you want, I'll keep it in mind on my way to work. Really? Okay then, I'll ask you something else. Tell me. Well, it's fairly expensive, but I always wanted a blue necklace. Well, you are a girl, so I do understand. Wow, that's sexist. But I kind of get it too because of the way this world's supposed to be. I'm getting digress. Or I digress. If I find it, I'll bring it here straight away. Thank you. By the way, Cal, do you know anything about Ball's Fortress? You mean the fortress on the top of the hill? Yes. I could have swore I said it. That was built by the Black Rope Gang. The Black Rope Gang? Yes, they were originally robbers who attacked the travelers in the mountains. They built the fortress as soon as they found out that monster seeds were buried in Jeed's mine. They were made the fortress their base so that they could rob Jeed's mine. Or Jedi's mine. One of the two. Is that a fact? No, it's woman's reasoning. I'm not even going to touch that one. And neither is he. Eh, screw it. Let's keep going. Yeah, let's just keep going. Because I think I got one more battle in me. I caught a pigeon! I got it! <laughs> what shall I do? Let it go, of course. See, he was ex as excited about pigeons as I was. Yeah. Sign of a quality game right there. Pigeons. I don't know. I'm just going on with it. Yeah. <laughs> Foxy boxes. Also, if you guys don't know what that's from, go look it up. J just look up Foxy Boxes. You should be able to find it. Yeah. I'm so over you, Foxy Boxes. Yeah, <laughs> Foxy Boxes. Let's see. I should have explored everything else, so this should be Dryden. Or someone close to it. I'm looking for the traveling salesman you captured, so get out of my way. You impudent trespasser. If you want to pass, you'll have to fight us. The traveling salesman you're looking for, he's in jail. Of course, that is if you don't mind losing your life. Wow, dude. Cool talk for a villain. And Daniel remains as unimpressed as ever. Okay. Because I kind of need him, I'm going to summon Tepig. I can only summon in two spaces. That's cool. That's all I wanted anyway. Alright, since Tepig's in the front, I need Sand Slash out over here. 
Tepig's now in the back. And he's going to be coming out probably after I call. Uh, let's go with Pseudo Wudo again. Because Pseudo Wudo is awesome. He's good in my book, anyway. No, I can't call. Stand by. Also, his uh, tackle can actually paralyze, so be very careful of this ruler. Yes, the orange type of ruler for the uh, for the gang can paralyze. Uh, I think if I go to status, I can see that normal unforgiving because you can't actually summon him unless you enter a cheat, in which case you can buy him and summon him. Zine Pusher Paralysis does 17 battling damage. And it uses 4 frames. Kind of like uh, my tw uh, twirling upper. He can create madness for uh, 4 and 3. Yeah. That's why I like him. And stand by. I'll kill the lot of ya! Which I know sounds nothing like it should. He also has three monsters. Wow. Bubbly slide versus bubbly slide. Probably not really that long, but, uh... I was gonna say, that should be dead. So now it's bubbly slide versus nothing. And uh, I just can't wait till I move in for him. And uh, that's going to die as soon as this happens. You got yourself an expert. Okay, now I get to move all, all the way back here because I am afraid of that pig. Not so much that guy, just the pig. The pig is the biggest uh, problem right now. Now the pig is dead. So I really have nothing to work, no uh, work against. Nothing to really uh, worry about. He's counting on his uh, monster fading into dust before that has to summon. And now, I'm not going to say goodbye to Charmeleon, but I might have to say good madness. Yeah, he's going to start beating on his own people. You kind of got to do something with your stuff, so. Bubbly Slide is gone. And hopefully, it's Pseudo Wudos. Another one? Wow. Okay. He's counting on something that he can't really do anything about. Well. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye, little guy.
I know Sand Slash doesn't really have another turn coming, so. But Tepig should be coming up, so. Wee Pit? Nope. Mellow Crash. This should not work for all intents and purposes. And it didn't. Oh great, get face to face with it. Oh no, don't attack, stand by. Yeah, now he has no, uh... Damn it, Tepic. Why did you get directly into the battle? I mean, honestly. I know that your Evolve Forms can use Flare Blitz, but you're not the fighting type yet, so... Your HP is kind of bad. Why do you keep using Mela? Fire is not effective against a fire Pokemon. I mean, come on, man. Item. Bitter Aid. I'm also going to use a Mine Aid on him. Uh, you guys know that I haven't bought a single item yet. Cause you guys have seen pretty much all I've done. Every time I keep go or any time I go out of here, I usually either save or go straight to uh, the town chief. So. so yeah, Sand Slash got boxed out. Carrie's gonna run to that door and stand there. Pseudo Wudo's gonna come up, bubbly slide, and you should be f good to die. Another bubbly slide? Yes. Goodbye. Now just don't get into uh, Sand Slash's way, and you should be fine. And you don't. Good. Stand by. I want to get in Tepig's way because Tepig shouldn't be uh, charging in yet. Carry is going to use. No, he doesn't use his attack. Okay. I'm moving up here, so I'm out of the walkway. Pseudo Wudo, come up. And this guy should be dead within a couple of attacks. Okay, so he's got some pretty good armor. Tepig should be going, and then it should be my turn. Nope, it's his turn. Now it's my turn. Eh, that's fine. Stand by. No, not call. Uh, Alright. Come on, Sand Slash. Revenge. Ugh. And... 
If you'd done as you were told and let me through, you wouldn't have had to show how disgraceful you are. How idiotic. There are rulers stronger than me waiting in the line. And when they come, you'll be sorry you hadn't been. Beaten by me. Still saying that kind of thing, you're already beaten. There's the gatekeeper's key and two seeds. So, with that out of the way. I think it's fine to open this door. And we'll resume here next time. I'm Thelman23, and I want you guys to have a good night.